Good morning. Natalie from the Finca Kankorem in Mallorca. I am sending coffee and talk with my coffee cup. And I still uh, keep in the rhythm of uh, telling you stories about symbolic weddings I do. And um, I was saying that in, in Spanish and German already, so um, I will keep telling you the same story in English now. It's a good exercise for me to do, um, to do this, and I hope you like it. Good morning, Lisa. I keep talking about uh, weddings today. I have had, six years ago, a call from a lady who said to me she would like to surprise her husband by um, do the renewing of the wow. And I said, oh my God, because if it's a surprise, there's still the possibility that um, he will not like it. Are you aware of that? I mean, surprises usually go out well, but you can have a surprise which is not going to turn out well. What do we do then? And um, she said, no, it will be all fine. Hallo Daniela, good morning. It will be all fine. And uh, we just do it. So, okay, I got the job. I went to Port Heights now, to a little port, a luxury port, very rich people. I usually do not hang out there. And um, she contracted me and we had to be in the flow of, we had to act in the flow that this was a surprise for the husband, right? So I wore a black dress, which I can wear as a celebrant, but which I can also wear as a steward of the boat. So I met that lady and she was totally renewed. Uh, I mean by that, that everything in her body was new. Her tits were new, her, her butt was new, her face was new, everything was new. And I had never seen something like that so close before. And I was amazed by her lips. And what was a little bit um, disgusting was the fact... Hola, Miguel. <laughs> so um, I was a little bit disgusted by the fact that she had those big lips, but they weren't painted well. So when she um, gave me a hug, I was like, oh my God, no, this is disgusting. But this is a thing of mine. When it comes to weird stuff in the face, I get easily disgusted. So this was hard for me because I had to, to do the wedding, right? So she was well dressed up. We got her husband in the next port who didn't know anything of what is going to happen. And it was hilarious because he was still wearing his bathing suit. And his big belly was hanging over the bathing suit. And I was like, oh my God, how are we going to do the wedding in 20 minutes? And it should be with dignity. And she went in. I, I introduced myself as one of the next stewards on the boat. Uh, I'm going to work her here like a maid or a steward. I don't remember what I said. And I had to get up on the upper floor and set the table for the for the celebration. And so I put my flowers on there, my candles, which was a complete nightmare because the thing was moving all the time. And I was catching the flowers. I was catching the candle. This man with his big belly and the woman with the big lips. It was just hilarious. So at one point I was standing um, on the first floor and the word in German is dick. I don't know if it's the same word in English. So I was standing there. And uh, I had to play a, sp a special music she told me I should play because then he knows this is something serious going on here, their, their song, right, their love song. So I put it on play and he came up with a nice, um, nice shirt. She asked him to put a shirt on and she had a nice dress. And here we were standing on the boat and I was trying to do the celebration while we were moving like this. And the English captain, the British captain, he drove to the cathedral, which is totally forbidden, and we anchored in front of the cathedral, which you cannot do. So while we were moving like this, I had also the work um, to ask him not to go out with other women anymore and fool around. And now just imagine that situation. The poor guy, he, did have no, he didn't have any idea of what is going to happen. She was very romantic. He was very romantic. He was, uh, he knew I'm having an information. I shouldn't know that he's fooling around and screwing his marriage. So this is why she's asking him to do the vow again. And it was just, everything was very embarrassing and weird. And um, 
When I started playing the music, he started to cry because he knew this is some serious things here going on. And he was going <gasps> like this, like when you, when you lose your breathing. And he was getting really emotional. And when I saw this, I was getting emotional because you don't see men like this crying all the time. So out of my situation of laughing, I went into crying, but of course I didn't cry. And for me, it, emotionally, it was also very, very exhausting. So at the end of the day, I asked him, well, your wife is asking you for not fooling around with other women. And he went, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this. And I was like, oh my God, I wonder if, if this is going to work. We finished the celebration. We went back to Port Tides now, and I still keep asking myself if they're still together. I would like to know that so much. I should write in my contract, please let me know after five years if you're still together. Of course I don't, but I would like to know that. So um, when I remember this couple, I always have a smile on my face because these incredible lips that made me stare at her and the man crying so badly. He was overwhelmed. We were lucky. He could have said no. And then what? A crying woman. So um, we were lucky. I wish you a nice Thursday and uh, we see each other tomorrow if you want and um, hang in there. Did I, did I show my chat? My, yes, I did, right? I don't remember now. This is my coffee cup. Goodbye.